MachineTutorials.com. Hey, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com, back with another video on importing your expansions. After I did the one showing how to import your kits and sounds, I got a lot of questions on third-party expansions, specifically the ones that use an alias, something like Boss of the Trap or the Gold Baby kits or anything. So I want to show you the only way that I've really found that actually works because it seems like there's a bug where when you open it a certain way, it doesn't get the play range right and a bunch of different stuff. So this is for those that have been having that issue. So what you want to do is go to File, Preferences, and add it in the library first. You want to give it the alias. Go ahead and close. Then you also want to go over and import it. I've tried importing it first, then adding the alias, then rescaling it a bunch of different ways for the people that were having these issues. So this is the only way that it seems to be working properly right now. Hopefully they get it fixed to where we don't have to do all this. But for now, this is how you get the stuff in there. All right, so now you actually see it over there. And if I click on... The one we just imported, I got my tags, and I got all the different sounds, and I can load them up. All right, so you can see they pretty much work properly when you do it that way. Remember, you got to do it twice, so you want to add it in the preferences first, and make sure you put that actual alias in there. And then you also want to import it. I don't know why it does that. Maybe it needs to know where the stuff is because it used an alias. Anyway, hopefully they get this taken care of so we don't have to do, you know, multiple work. But for those of you that got a lot of third-party expansions for machine and you want to get them in there, this is how you got to do it right now. So, of course, if you got any questions, let me know. This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Peace.